Hi you guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be doing part two of my adoption story in which I'll actually be sharing with you guys the letter that was written to me from my birth mother at the time that I was born. I actually made a copy of the letter. Um, I want to preserve the original copy of the letter considering it is 28 years old now so it's getting a little crumply so I made a copy of the original letter here. It has a little date um, stamped of the date that it was received by the agency and so i'm gonna go ahead and read it to you guys and i was born on june 25th this letter is dated for july 30th and so the letter says the following dear sweet darling as i write this letter i am thinking of your sweet beautiful eyes and the smile you gave me that i'll never forget there's not a second minute or hour that i don't think about you but i have to explain why i put you up for adoption I'm not asking for anything but your understanding. Darling, I put you up for adoption because I love you and I want the best for you. I couldn't take care of you and wanted you with someone who could. I am all alone, no money, home, and unmarried, and all I could have gave you is and all I could have gave you is love, all the love in the world. But it's just not enough. We can't live off love alone. We need more. And the situation I'm in right now, and your sister, I just can't put another baby of mine who I love through it. It's only the love I have for you that will grow deeper in my heart as you grow, and I'll never forget you. So please understand why I did it, and open your heart to me, for mine shall always be open and, tr and there for you. Love you deeply, your birth mom. And so this is the only letter that I had or the only bit of information that I had from my mom that explained why she gave me up for adoption. When I read this letter originally, um, it made sense what she said, but in my heart it wasn't something that I had yet accepted. You know, you still have those questions of why, even though, you know, she gave, you know, a general explanation as to why she gave me up for adoption. But you still question things like, okay, but why, you know? And just reading over this letter again, it kind of, when I think of all the words that I've written on this piece of paper, like, I can totally put them in my mom's, like, mouth and hear her saying them and know how genuine it is and not a lot of people have this piece of information where they even receive a letter explaining why they were put up for adoption so I'm very grateful to her for thinking about me enough in order to write this letter that she knew one day I would be able to read and kind of know and understand why she made the decision that she did and you know and that I would still love her in spite of her decision. And along with that letter, I also had um, like a little packet of information. Um, I haven't made copies of this yet, but I have like a packet of information that gives all of my biological mother's information, my biological dad's information, such as, such as their age, their height and weight, their hair color, their eye color, their complexion, their race and nationality their religion, like the highest level of education they had completed at the time, their occupation, what their personality was like, their hobbies, like their health history and things like that. And so all of that information was here for me, as well as like my birthday, my weight, my name, and um, like if there were any other children that were born at the time to my biological um, parents, those children, and um, just comments about like uh, my biological mom surrendering her rights and signing over her rights in order for me to be adopted. And then there was an intake assessment that was done by the caseworker that was over my case. And um, it basically had um, my biological mom's name, her address at the time, her phone number, the date that I was delivered, and as well as like intake assessment. If you're not familiar with what an intake assessment is, I know with um, in the psychology field, the way we do intakes is based upon like when a person first comes in for therapy or things like that, you know, what their dress was like, you know, their emotions and things of that nature. This one is a little bit different. Um, this intake basically just talks about like the referral 
as well as the situation that my biological mom was in at the time. Now, you know, she didn't have her own place. She was living with her mom and things of that nature and um, who my biological father was and um, just how old he was and the objectives that were made with this case, like what the whole point was, which was to assist my biological mom in her plan for me to be placed with a family and to contact uh, my biological mom with the placement information once I had been placed and to ascertain how she's doing at that time and offer any help as needed. And then there was a medical exam attached to this from when I was born, what formula I had, I had a diaper rash when I left the hospital and things like that. So it's very, being where I am now in my life is very informative, more informative now than it was then to go back and look at this information and reflect on it. And, you know, it's just amazing how, you know, far I've come in this process when before it was just, you know, information that I had and now it's like, the Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, the golden ticket, you know, and just being able to have as much information as you can whenever you go to search for someone that you may have been, um, you know, displaced from, if you were adopted, put in foster care, or even if you just lost touch with someone, you know, being able to have as much information as you can so that way when you go and do a search, you're able to pull up information on people that very very well may be a valid source or be who you're actually looking for because I did do a search in order to find my biological mom which is what I'll be talking about in my next video so I definitely hope that you guys um took something from this video and enjoy watching it as I continue to share my story as it all unfolds and so thank you guys so much for watching and until my next video talk to you later bye